So you did not see the SmackDown show? I did not. I mean, I know what happened, but I did not see the show yet. No, I watched the. Um, I did see the AEW show, but but uh, I watched the New Japan show instead of the SmackDown show. So the big angle on SmackDown. Uh, well, there were a couple of there were a couple of big angles that all tied together. So basically, what happened was the show opens, and it's supposed to be the Usos versus Braun Strowman and Ricochet, and. Jimmy's there, and there's no Jay at the beginning of the show. And he's all nervous, and he's calling him, and nobody's answering, and Paul Heyman's there, and, and they're all concerned that he's not going to be there. So eventually, you know, he can't get a hold of the guy, and so Heyman goes, dude, you're going to have to go out there, you're going to have to defend these titles all by yourself. And so he says, all right, I'm going to do it. So... uh they hit the music of the baby faces, and then Jimmy Uso comes out, and he's getting ready to do this match, and all of a sudden, through the crowd comes Jay Uso. And so he comes down, he hugs his brother, they get in the ring, and they have their match. And they get 13 minutes, and very good match. The finish was awesome because um, the Usos are fighting up on top, and or uh jimmy's uh i think fighting up top and uh he gets knocked off ricochet goes for the shooting star press and he very and this is on purpose he very slightly uh i guess it would be over rotates so he he does it in such a way that his his legs hit the mat hard enough that he hits it perfect but then he bounces off the mat and does a flip, and he lands in the middle of the ring, and just as he lands, Jay comes off the top with the, the, the big splash and pins him. Like, it was perfect the way they did this finish. So the Usos retain the titles, and then later on in the show, uh, you know, they're, they're in the, uh, I guess they're talking afterwards, and, and Jimmy goes, man, I knew you always had my back, and... I just want to know, are you still with us? And Jay looks at him, and he just says, I'm not sure. And he walks off. And so uh, Paul Heyman shows up, and he says, hey, did uh, did Jay say anything? And Jimmy says, uh, he didn't say anything about staying or, or going. And so, of course, Heyman's skeptical about this. So later, uh, Jay is leaving, and he's walking through the parking lot, and from behind a production truck comes Sami Zayn. And Jay looks around. There's nobody around. So he goes, dude, you got to get out of here. And Sammy says, listen, I just want you to know that uh, I just want to thank you for what you did at the Royal Rumble. It's something I'm never going to forget. And he says, I just want you to know I'm going to beat Roman Reigns for that title. And I know that you want to see Roman lose those titles as well. And uh, and I just want you to know, Jay, I acknowledge you. And Jay's like, oh, God. And so Sami Zayn wants one more fist bump. Jay looks at him, and Sami goes, come on. And so Jay gives him a fist bump, and he walks off. So then at the very end of the show, after they've done everything, uh, Paul Heyman goes up to Jimmy, and he says, I just got off the phone with the Roman Reigns. And he says, you're right, Jay had your back. And uh, he goes, I got a special message from Roman Reigns. He says, next week, he wants you both to stay home and watch the Elimination Chamber. Because, he says, you get a different perspective when you're watching TV. And that's how the show ends. So, of course, the, the implication here is that Roman Reigns was watching the show and he saw the meeting with Jay and Sammy in the parking lot. And so he is prohibiting the Usos from going to SmackDown in the Elimination Chamber next week. So, of course, you know, I don't think Jimmy can get into Canada, but uh, I'm sure Jay's going to show up. I was up. told they were okay. Jimmy can too? I will check again, but I... I when that came when it was first came up, I said like, "Are they cleared for Canada?" And I was told they're both cleared. All right. Well, one way or the other, they're not supposed to be there. I mean, so I don't know if it's a swerve or they're just doing a storyline. Well, I'm sure that I'm the sure they're going to show up. They've got to show up and and do something to set up whatever they're doing with Sammy at WrestleMania and Kevin. 
Yeah. I mean, Kevin hasn't been around either, so you know he's going to make a triumphant return to save Sammy at the end. So I guess it just depends on how they uh, they get to it. So uh, other other match on the show, Drew and Sheamus beat Hip, Hit Row. They got about three minutes. And then there was a Viking Raiders vignette afterwards, and they called out Drew McIntyre and Sheamus for next week. So uh, that match is on the show next week. We had uh, Lacey Evans beating Carmen Harass, I believe her name was. And just two-minute match, crowd's dead. They don't care about this Lacey Evans. She's had 85 gimmicks. Hits the women's right, puts on the Cobra Clutch, gets a submission, and that was that. Had uh, the Usos matches we talked about. And then Natty comes down to talk about the Elimination Chamber, and she talks about how Shayna Baszler put her out of action. And she says, uh, I returned, and I took Shayna's place. I'm going to be in the Elimination Chamber. She says, Shayna... You're nothing but a Ronda Rousey knockoff. And so Shayna storms down to the ring and she goes, listen, I'm sick of everyone comparing me to Ronda Rousey. Let me tell you something about Ronda Rousey. I was doing this all over the world before Ronda Rousey. I was, uh, forget the other thing she said, something else that she'd done before Ronda Rousey. And so all of a sudden Ronda's music hits and Shayna has that look on her face like, I fucked up. So Ronda comes down to the ring she gets right in Shayna's face, but of course the two of them turn. They attack Natty. Shotzi runs down to make the save. So apparently Ronda and uh, Shayna are going to be a tag team, which I guess gives Ronda something to do. We had uh, Raquel and Liv beating Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. Chelsea got pinned again. Rodriguez hit her with the power bomb. So I'm not sure exactly what this uh, whole Chelsea Green thing is all about. Bringing her back, big push, but losing well, I mean, all the, the time. Idea is just that she's, the idea is just that, just that she's going to lose and, and cry about it all the time. Mm. We had a Charlotte Flair interview, which was bizarre because Charlotte, don't even tell me, Dave. Charlotte's a baby face here, right? Charlotte's supposed to be baby face, yeah. All right, well. Yeah. I wouldn't say this was a full heel promo, but if you were watching the show and didn't know who, uh, like, if... like if you Well, just... Rhea is supposed to be a heel, but at the end, Rhea's going to probably beat her. Yeah. You know, and, and Rhea's, Rhea's probably... I mean, she's probably getting cheered in the match, and I think they know that because people have been wanting, you know, Rhea Ripley to beat her for years and never did. Well, so, you know, it's probably the situation, but Judgment Day certainly didn't turn baby face. She said, uh, three years ago I put her in her place, and yeah, it's been three years, but you know what? Nobody gets to my level in three years, and at WrestleMania I'm going to put her back in her place again. It's like, huh, okay, well, you're going to get booed. Then we had a uh, Fatal 4-Way with Madcap Moss, Karrion Cross, Rey Mysterio, and Santos Escobar. With the winner getting a shot against Gunther next week on the show. And of all people, Madcap Moss won. He ended up uh, uh, hitting a flying elbow on, uh, who was it? Cross hit Mysterio. Yeah, he did on Mysterio. So he pinned uh, Ray Mysterio. So it's going to be uh, Gunther and Moss next week for the Intercontinental title. So giving him something for a week. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? (laughs) I didn't get that one. (laughs) (laughs) Knock, knock, who's there? (laughs) Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how knock, knock jokes work. (laughs) We Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. We barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, they, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.